Thunder Down Under by Timothy Knapman and Steve James On the first day of summer, the air smelled so sweet that the animals rushed out to play in the heat. Not seeing that Numbat was looking for food, they trampled straight past him, which was rather rude. They played very roughly, they stomped on the ground, when suddenly there was a terrible sound. First it went blurt, and then squeak, bloop and bungle, then toot toot, then parp, and then flollop and flungle. It was tree flapping clattery, ear wibbling loud, and after it rolled in this stinky great cloud. One whiff and all at once all the animals started to whisper and wonder, my goodness, who's farted? Ask me, said the neat little numbat. I know just exactly who gave their bum trumpet a blow. But nobody listened, nobody at all. For who pays attention to someone so small? So the wombat piped up. He liked being in charge. This whiff must have come from a rump that is large. It's big and it's grand and that's how I can tell. That the emu's the one who let out this bad smell. The emu was angry and wrinkled her beak. How dare you suggest that my bottom squeak? I am tall and I'm wise, so of course I know who. Has parked very rudely, it's you, kangaroo. All that bouncing and bumping, it loosens the bot. But the kangaroo snorted. What cheek, I did not. Ask me, said the numbat. He jumped up and down. I'll tell you exactly who turned the air brown. But nobody listened, nobody at all. For who pays attention to someone so small? So the kangaroo told them, Hey, I know the chap who's ruined our day with his huge backside flap. It's not hard to work out. Just sniff and by jingo, you'll know it's our friend here, the dastardly dingo. The dingo said, Struth, mate, you're really way off. If you're saying that I made that ripe trouser cough, now I know who farted. Prepare for a shock. It's bubbly and swampy, it must be the croc. But the croc said, the wallaby just cut the cheese. No, I didn't, it's possum, it's her rear end sneeze. I tell you, the bandicoot rang his bum bell. No way, it was platypus's pongy box smell. Oh, why won't you listen, the numbat called out. And then you will know, and I won't have to shout. But nobody listened, nobody at all. For who pays attention to someone so small? So they just kept on arguing. Some thought a shark was the one who had let out the loud bottom bark. They all knew a noise like that just had to come from a very important and large creature's bum. Then suddenly, shockingly, shakingly loud, a fresh fart erupted and silenced the crowd. They looked at each other in horror and wonder at this latest rumble of thunder down under. They all held their noses and turned round to see... The numbat, who laughing, said, yes, it was me. I blew that butt sneeze and I warmed the seat. Yes, I let it rip. It was my body tweet. But you all ignored me because of my size. I hope that you've learned something from this surprise. We small ones are just as important as you. And anything you can do, we can do too. We're brainy and brave. We have plenty of heart. And most importantly, boy, can we fart. Then he trotted away with his towel in the air and everyone just had to stand there and stare. So the moral is perfectly clear, don't you think? You're never too little to kick up a stink. Thank you for listening. And if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and come join us for more stories.